Today's video features two among the most famous rules in ecology that you might have heard of the first time in school. Bergman's rule and Allen's rule. I would be glad if we establish another rule here. Please click the like button below this video and please subscribe to the channel to support the project. You can also become a member now with a monthly subscription. But please only do so if you have money in excess. Now let's begin with Bergman's rule. It was observed that birds and mammals in colder regions were often way bulkier than closely related species in warmer environments. A good example here are penguins. The largest species of them, the emperor penguin, is found in Antarctica with average temperatures of minus 20 degrees Celsius. In contrast to the huge emperor penguin, one of the smallest penguin species, the Galapagos penguin, is endemic to the Galapagos Islands and the most northern species of penguins with high average ambient temperatures of around plus 20 degrees Celsius. As this phenomenon was investigated more thoroughly, a principle was proposed by the German biologist Karl Bergmann. The principle states that the external temperature correlates with the body surface to volume ratio. To visualize why bigger bodies have a decreased body surface to volume ratio, an example here compares a small body with two bigger ones. This example shows that when the volume is doubled, the body surface does not increase by the same factor of two. Instead, with an increased volume, the body surface to volume ratio decreases. The assumption proposed by Bergman was that bigger bodies that automatically go along with a decreased surface to volume ratio can retain more heat than they lose. In cold environments as Antarctica, this is an efficient energy saving measure for warm blooded animals such as birds and mammals. In contrast, warm environments would favor smaller bodies as they have greater body surface in relation to the body volume to support heat reduction. But what is Allen's rule? It was observed that birds and mammals in cold environments have shorter body appendages, in other words, shorter ears, legs or tails than closely related species in warm environments. An example with two different species of foxes demonstrates best what is described in Allen's rule. The arctic fox that is found in cold environments with average temperatures of around minus 15 degrees Celsius possesses short limbs. Another fox species, the fennec fox that lives in the Sahara Desert of Africa, a warm environment, has large ears and longer limbs. Similar observations have already been documented for other animals such as rabbits. The rule was proposed by the American zoologist Allen in the 19th century. It states that colder temperature correlates with shorter protruding body parts. Larger body appendages such as the huge ears of the fennec fox are advantages in warm climates as they offer a large surface area and so the fennec fox can emit more heat. Large limbs and therefore an increased surface area to volume ratio would be disadvantages in cold environments. Thus. To retain more heat, the arctic fox possesses short legs and ears to decrease the animal's surface area. As for the Bergman's rule, this phenomenon might have successfully evolved as an efficient energy saving measure. To sum up shortly, both rules, the Bergman's and the Allen's rule, describe the phenomena of a body adaptation to the corresponding environment in terms of a surface area to volume ratio that allows animals to emit or to save more heat. If you agree that these foxes are cute, like the video to support the channel. Please check out this video here as well and feel free to subscribe. Special thanks to our ecologist Kea and thank you for watching.